I'm Dr. Kevin Cryer. I'm one of the owners in Small Animal Veterinarian here at uh, Badger Veterinary Hospital. I uh, work pretty much uh, dogs, cats. Uh, I, do, I do quite a bit of the orthopedics here at the practice. Uh, I like, um, really, I like it a lot when I do uh, a lot of the harder cases, uh, the internal medicine aspect of the small animal medicine. Trying to figure out what's taking place, you know, with these these patients that can't talk to me, you know, it's a challenge. Okay, they they um, uh, they come in, you know, they, they may be listless, lethargic, they're not eating, and they can't talk to you. So you're trying to figure out what the problem is, and that's where uh, the internal medicine aspect of it comes into play. You, you know, running your blood, uh, the chemistry, the CBCs, the urinalysis, screening thyroids, taking X-rays. Uh, you know, ter making those interpretations, do they have kidney related issues, is it liver, is there some type of infection, okay, is it a viral, is it fungal, is it bacterial, um, you know, exactly what is taking place with this patient and how can I help them, All right. and I mean, that's kind of a, uh, you know, a, a goal, you know, providing that care um, that those patients need. Kind of a long way uh, around to get to the point where I am today. Uh, when I first got out of high school, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. I was not sure what you know where life was going to take you. At least for me, that's how I was. And I, one thing led to another in my life, but I ended up working at a small animal. Uh, it was actually a mixed animal practice in uh, Bloomington Normal, Normal, Illinois. And I don't know, something just clicked. You know, I was just sort of fascinated with, um, you know, with the, the surgical aspect of it and, and then the medicine part of it. And at the time, I was, you know, they were doing mixed animals, so we were going out on calls, you know, a lot of, a little bit of dairy, well, dairy work, uh, beef uh, work, a little bit of equine, and then in the, in the hospital, uh, they were doing, you know, obviously small animal. Um, and, you know, I just got to the point where the, 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 the fascination turned into really a goal. You know, this is what I wanted to do. Right out of high school, I actually went to Southern Illinois University for a year. And then I moved up and went to Illinois State. To Illinois State, I had my uh, bachelor's degree. So I had a bachelor's degree, uh, uh, and enough credits for a minor in chemistry. And I was halfway through a master's de degree, reproductive physiology, with my master's. And uh, then I was admitted to uh, the University of Illinois College of Medicine, and then four more years there. I, I like the orthopedic part of it, but the lameness and evaluating lamenesses is it a front leg, is it a hind leg? They have a, a, a torn ACL. So, I do most of the orthopedic in the practice. The orthopedics uh, is a challenge. Uh, not everybody does orthopedics. It can be a hard thing to do. But you get a fracture that comes in. You got to figure out how you're going to put that fracture back together. And when you when you go in, you got to hit two or three different ways of how you're going to fix that. Because trust me, you know the first one may not work. All right, so you better have some other plan in store as to how you're going to fix that, that fracture. The more common orthopedic problem in small animal medicine, the number one is ACL tears. I don't think people realize that that's the number one orthopedic issue in small animal medicine is orthopedic tears. And I do a lot of ACL repairs, okay, out of the practice here. And, um, and you know, I think it's just uh, that wanting to make that patient, you know, make their quality of life better. My uh, wife, Becky, we've been together, um, so that would be 30, you know, about 30 years that we've been together. And this could probably goes for any health profession. It takes a strong person to be a partner with that person for life, uh, just because of the time that's committed to that health profession. Uh, I'm lucky to have her. All right. And then there's my daughter, Megan. Megan just graduated high school, uh, started her um, college career. Her goal in life is to be a constitutional lawyer. She goes to uh, uh, WLC, which is Wisconsin Lutheran College, three years at Wisconsin Lutheran, and then three years at Marquette is how that would go. I've always had labs, okay. And um, right now I currently have two yellow labs. I have uh, Molly and Andy. 
Uh, most of my um, uh, pets have been rescues. They're both really good dogs. The way I ended up here was actually, uh, uh, it was uh, salt and pepper shakers, okay? So my mother-in-law, somehow, she ended up purchasing uh, salt and pepper shakers from uh, Dr. Cervantes. Saw that he was uh, in veterinarian and chit-chatted back and forth about her son-in-law, me being a veterinarian. Uh, my wife and I were looking for uh, a good uh, in-between between families, okay? It happens to be James, so it was a pretty good in-between. And uh, she reached out to uh, Steve again at that time, Dr. Savantes, and wanted to know if you're looking for somebody. I actually came up here a few weekends to work the emergency practice, and then one thing led to another, and they decided I should come out full-time at that point, and that's, that's, I've been here ever since. So.